What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another HHM preparation. Oh, ooh, listen to that. Yes, that's right. This video, uh, as you saw, is a little bit different. It also very much an HHM preparation because now we're going to be talking about the scariest moments, not the scariest mazes, but the, the scariest, scariest moments. moments. Top five scariest moments that we've experienced in our years at HHM for you to get a little dosage, a little, a little taste of what you might experience in 2017. So of course, as the other lists work, we're going to start from five being at the bottom. Number one, number one, of course, is the scariest moment that we have ever experienced. Another thing, we haven't seen each other's list, so that's why our expressions and our reactions are the way that they are, because we don't know. Natural. All natural. That's how we do it. We organic. We got that organic seal right there. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, without further ado, when Hosu is ready. Alright, so my number five, for least scariest, goes to none other than... I guess it's a conjoint, alien and predator, in that hallway where they both come out at you. Uh, I thought, you know, I was not expecting that. For, for one, let me just say, it's a very close quarter scene. The, the scene is literally, I don't know, it's like a hallway, and you've got the xenomorph coming at you, and you literally, you're, you're like this close from it. And I, I, for one, I wasn't expecting that, which freaked me out. And... I thought it was really cool and just totally different and it's just, yeah, it was incredible. So that's my number five. And it's also my number five! <laughs> I think that it was definitely something that's different from Freddy vs. Jason, where Freddy vs. Jason, you felt that se that safety because there was that netting that really separated them. Like, they, they could walk out but only from one particular spot. But when it came to the Xenomorph and the Predator, they were... There was nothing holding them back. By side. They were just like, Mrah! they were going for you. And so, yeah, that's why I had it at number five because it was really unexpected how close they were willing to get. Number four. So, number four on my list is, of course, is a little biased, but because we are talking about scary moments. Now, with Halloween Horror Nights, it's not all jump scares. Sometimes it is a little psychological. So for my number four is Clowns 3D Music by Slash, by Slash. The Vomit Room. Ooh. That after we experience the fear of being in these cold rooms with all these sweet smells, you can smell the peppermint in the air. It's almost like you go, mmm, -hmm, and you can taste it. You enter this room, and it just reeks <laughs> of vomit. You see the children just puking and they're just, oh, it's just like, oh, this is, oh. The fact also was that it was clowns, oh, that was terrifying for me because it was psychological. It wasn't that there was someone there spraying me with vomit, it there was, was there's just some dude. A <laughs> little spray bottle. <laughs> no, it was. That's why it gets number four, because Halloween Horror Night is not just jump scares, it's also the smells. My number four uh, actually goes to probably one of the coolest things and newest things we saw about about three years ago, I want to say. Um, it, it, it's the vertical scare from Insidious with the old man in the mask. It was the first time oh, so he came oh. down from, it was like the last, it was almost like the last scare as you're walking out, uh, you get the, the lady in black jumping out at you and you're like, oh lordy, it's, 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 it's Jesus. Mm -hmm. And you're not expecting from the top, due to the mask, just comes flying out and tries to grab you. Woo! I remember my instinct was just yes, down, yes. down, down. Yeah, and they did that again in Krampus. Mm -hmm. And it was also a very, very powerful effect. But I think, you know, the first time because it was, now we're getting used to it. Now it's like, okay, sure, there's going to be someone out there. But the fact that, yeah, I think also what was really cool was that with that character, because that character had muddy footprint, that you saw the muddy mm -hmm. footprints. You were following them and then, oh, he was there! Yeah. That was, yeah, really, really cool. My number three is actually kind of like your number four, where I decided to not do a actual scare, but a psychological thing, and it really was only for a few people that got to experience it. <laughs> My number three 
goes to um, American Horror Story, the gross poop smell at the end of that maze of hotel. Oh my god, that was awful. If you got to experience that, let me know in the comments what you guys thought of that, about that, that, that smell, but it was, <laughs> like, for one, it didn't let me enjoy that last part of the maze, like, until I went back when it was gone, but that initial smell, I was like, okay, I get it, it's, it smells a little gross, and then it just got stronger, and stronger, and stronger, and I was like, I can't do this anymore. I'm running out of the maze. At, the, at that point, I, wasn't even, I didn't even care if people jumped out at me. My focus was getting out of the stench. <laughs> it was horrifying. That's my number three. It was three. really, really bad. My number three, I'm gonna take it back, 2015. Ooh. American Werewolf in London dream sequence. Which one? The dream sequence that when after there's the Nazi werewolves, okay. you go through and you see like, da, 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 it's like oh okay, right. and then there's that pause because you see he gets his throat slit. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was us or if it was actually something routinely done, but he pretends to be dead, and as soon as we passed him, he went blah, and I was like whoa, whoa, okay, icing on the cake. Because we thought you were gonna stay dead, but you're not. And that was like, okay. You can't, not everything is as it seems when it comes to Halloween Horror Nights that they may appear dead, but they will also try to give one last scare. And also as a side note, because I am mentioning American Werewolf in London, also, not sure if it was just our experience, as we were leaving the maze, there was someone entering who was supposed to be like the half-transformed werewolf, who was going as he was chasing, like coming, I guess, to his position. And we were like, ah, oh no. No, we're now. So that was American Werewolf, those two scares. Pretty, pretty good. And that's why it's like the standard. The three is like a standard at the list, so yeah. My number two goes. To the Walking Dead, Wolves Not Far. Now, it's kind of cheating because this is not what was exactly inside of the maze. I mean, it wasn't great because it was the longest maze. It was when we got there. That was the first maze we decided to do. And it's something, when you hear the music and the sound effects turn on, and the fire coming off of Terminus, and then we saw the walkers coming out, that made everything feel real. Holy crap. We were now in The Walking Dead. These walkers were out for us, and we had to walk through them in order to even enter the freaking maze. I remember this. This is good. Th that was... Whoo! That was good. That was a very scary moment because it really built up the anticipation... And <laughs> built up the anticipation for how great of a maze it actually did turn out to be. My number two is your number three. Mm -hmm. But not the same thing. Now your number three was American Werewolf in London. Yeah. The dream scene. Yeah. My number three is <laughs> the werewolf. Just all the werewolves in the full werewolves. The the mechanical sets or the mechanical pieces that just launched out at you. Now I remember this was, I was not expecting this to happen as I walked through. You know, because uh, a lot of people know like there's like, I want to say like those like chill moments where it's like, it's just a simple hallway that you're walking through to get to the next piece. True, true. That's what I thought because we just got like a really hellish like piece and I was like, okay, they're going to have like a little brief uh, like breath of air and then back into the darkness. Nope. I pry open those things, werewolf jumps out at me, I threw people. I, <laughs> I, I sacrificed for the greater good of myself, um, true hero. I, you, you know, I was gonna, I wanted to live so that I could memorize them, you know, you know, mm -hmm. honor their deaths for me. Their sacrifices. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought that was... Just mm -hmm. terrifying. So moral of the story, expect the unexpected. It's that time.
time. It's that time for the most scariest moments we've ever had in Halloween Horror Nights. Now I know what you're thinking, how's, how's things getting up close to you? How's horrible smells? How's, how's, how, what's gonna beat that? And I'll tell you what, physical pain. And I know what you're thinking, wait, but they can't actually hurt you, us wait. It's not, it's not who hit me. It's how badly they scared me that it hurt me. Now, my number one goes to Halloween. Hell comes home? Or no? No, Mike Myers comes home. Mikey Mike's comes home. The scene where you're walking through the the sheets, mm -hmm. the white sheets. We were trying to rush through there because we knew he was there, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run. Line stopped, and I was I was covered in these sheets, and I was like, oh my god, where is he coming from? Nothing. I'm like, okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, whatever. Maybe he went to go scare the people behind me, because I could hear people screaming behind me. I moved the curtain. <laughs> Bam! Right in my face. Now you're probably wondering, where is the pain, Josue? I screamed so hard. I got locked jaw. I was literally just, uh, uh, and all of this was on fire. Yeah. And I'm like trying to get to my friends. I'm telling Thomas and my friend were like, I'm like, ah. <laughs> and, and they're laughing at me. They're just getting scared. And I'm just still just like, ah. We're amazing friends. That's what it is. Point is, Mikey Mikes, I love you. You hurt me, but I love you for it. There you go. My number one is also physical pain. Yeah, physical pain. <laughs> and also emotional pain. Oh, my. Last year, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> Something happened to me that has never happened to me before. I've had plenty of times where I've had scare actors in my face. I've had plenty of times where I've been distracted by one and then BOOM! Another one right there! Never in my years have I had someone come, come here, come here. Like, oh, oh, no, I'm good. Rip out another human's face and put it directly on top of my face. <laughs> Holy cow. That was... I was. I did not feel any safety. Josue was not even next to me. I was I gone. Mean, he, I was he, gone. He was, I saw Thomas and like, or like, like um, Werewolf in London. I was like, hey, I'll, yeah, I'm, I'm going to remember you. I'm going to... Yeah. Girl, I'm going to remember you. I was going to be a new outfit. <laughs> for Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's what was going to happen. Oh my, that was... That, yeah, that shook me up. It was, it's crazy because, I mean, it's completely legal. I mean, they didn't touch me because he, the mask, the mask touched me. He didn't even touch me. And it's not like he, I'm so, I mean, everything was legal. I had agreed to this when I had entered it. But oh, whew, that was intense. So again, going back, expect the unexpected, and uh, you're not safe. Nope. There is never a moment of rest. There might be like a moment to breathe, but there's no moment of rest. So make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. And there we have it. So that was our top five scariest moments. If you want to see our top five cringiest moments, like the moments where we're like, oh, that failed hard. Let us know in the description down below. Let us know, not in the description, sorry. In the comments down below. Tell us what you think. Did you like our list? Do you agree with our picks? We want to know your scariest moments at Halloween or nights. Let us know in those comments below. We'd love to see them. Mm -hmm. Love to hear them. Love to read them. Also, if you are Orlando attendees, Ooh, yes. tell us if there were even yes. scarier moments in those particular only Orlando mazes. Yeah, for sure. Because our, all of our experiences from Hollywood, so we want to hear from you Orlandoians, right? Orlando, Orlando, Orlando Bloomians? Orlando Bloomians. <laughs> uh, of course, make sure to follow us on Instagram at TLEPix and on Twitter at TLETweets and subscribe and hit that bell to be notified for all of our uploads because it's about to get summer and get summer. there's going to be a lot more videos coming up and if you're hyped for that, hit that like button Yeah, we appreciate it it's complicated and of course I'm Thomas I'm Josue we're your boys and we're out we are so out of here <laughs>